the Top Flight XL 2020 Golf Set. The Evolution. Stick around, guys. Hey, hey, YouTube, welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey, guys, it's been a while. I apologize. About a little over seven months ago, I made a video about my Top Flight 2020 XL Golf Club set. And who would have thunk that seven months later, that video would be my fourth most watched video and have right at about 8,600 views. Now for me, that's a lot. When I made that video, I thought maybe I'd get 50. I'm glad to see that the video has helped so many people. I know that many people said that they have bought the clubs after watching that video and I hope they've worked out for them. Well, one thing that you can count on, and if you're a golfer or you're into golf, you know that your game and therefore your equipment over time evolves. And so is true with my Top Flight XL Golf Set. So today I'm going to show you how my golf set has evolved just over the past seven months. Now, I just started to play golf again seven months ago. I wanted to do it because of my health, so that I could get some exercise, and I thoroughly enjoy the game, as frustrating as it can be. I've been able to hook up with a longtime friend of mine. I mean, way back to sixth grade, guys. He also enjoys golf, and a lot of the evolution of my bag is due to him. So, uh... What I want to do is tell you a little bit about how my game has changed. Now, seven months ago when I bought that set and I started playing, I was shooting, if lucky, a hundred. More like a hundred and two to a hundred and seven. Let's just average it to a hundred and five. Not very good. But I don't play to compete. I play for fun. I play for exercise. I play to spend time with my friends and family. The only person I compete with is myself and that is to get better. And that has been my goal over the past seven months. To improve my game and therefore my score which is a direct reflection of your game. So in doing so I found that I had to make some changes to my clubs. And some of the changes that I'm gonna show you are aesthetic changes, just visual. Things that just look better. But the majority of the changes are functional changes. Changes that I've made that have actually improved my game. As of now, seven months later, I am shooting in the 92 to 96 range. Let's just call it 95 for easy sake of math. And we can say that in the last seven months I have taken 10 strokes off of my game just in seven months by allowing my bag and my equipment to evolve along with me and my play style. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a clip from that older video seven months ago so that you can see what the bag looked like then, brand new when I purchased it. Then I'll show you how the bag has evolved, what's in it now. Alright, so go ahead and take a look at that clip now. Alright, so this is the set. I have taken off the head covers. It did come with a driver and a three wood 
cover which so far have held up and been very nice so I went ahead and took those off so you can actually see the clubs better and this is the bag there are different color options I went with the black and gray camo now first of all let me put a disclaimer up here just because my bag has evolved and I've changed some things out in my opinion that top flight XL 2020 golf set is perfect for a beginner golfer now that being said again as my game evolved some of the things in my bag have evolved when you first start playing golf and you play it for any amount of time you begin to realize what your strengths and what your weaknesses are and if you just ignore those you're not going to get any better so what I've done is I've stuck to my strengths I've focused on my weaknesses and that's where the changes to my bag have come about where I was struggling was my short game now with the evolution of my bag the only thing that's remaining of the original set are the irons the six seven eight nine and pitching wedge I absolutely love these top flight irons they work wonderfully for me but the original bag as you saw did it include a sand wedge a lob wedge or a gap wedge only a pitching wedge and this is the area where I was struggling again those wedge shots getting onto the green I went online and I purchased some Pine Meadow PGX wedges and they did okay for me but I was still struggling with those wedges I had no consistency I was topping and fatting topping and fatting either hitting still landing shy of the green or overshooting the green completely I was having a hard time controlling my wedges then I went out and I purchased what I made a video of and I titled that video the best 97 cents I ever spent and to this day seven months later I still attest to that this is the best 97 cents I ever spent and it's one of the two clubs that have evolved in my bag that have helped me to increase my score by 10 strokes average and that is this this little chipper it's uh, not expensive it's an it's a Northwestern tour choice carry player tour, tour choice chipper you'll notice it has an alignment on it very similar to a putter it's set up with a little bit of an offset very similar to a putter you actually swing this club the same way you do a putter in fact I even had a wider flat Odyssey putting grip put onto this chipper best 97 cents I ever spent that's one of the evolution items in my bag that has really helped my game the second area that I was really struggling was my drives but with my drives I had a very bad slice problem my ball was every time going off into the right into the woods into the water whatever's to the right of me that's where my ball went I tried everything I could do I tried aiming way left I tried shortening my stance lengthening my stance moving the ball backwards moving the ball forwards all of the tips that I could get in person and online just weren't working I could not get that ball to drive straight off of the tee that's when my buddy recommended hey 
you need to try an offset driver. I didn't even know what that was, but I looked into it. And evolution item number two to my set. An offset driver. This is, again, not expensive. This is a Pine Meadow PTX offset driver. 10.5 degree loft. 466 cc. It's just a very, very nice club. Not a lot of money. I don't remember exactly how much I paid. You can find them on Amazon. But as soon as I got this offset driver, guys, my drive started straightening out. Now, I'm not going to lie and tell you that every single drive was straight as an arrow. But overall, much, I'd say, 85% decrease in slice. Now, sometimes, I will actually go to the left. That 15% error... I don't blame on the club. I blame it on me. Having the right clubs for you are important. Nothing replaces skill. Okay? Practice. And since I have added this offset driver by Pine Meadow, that has been the second factor that has improved my score by 10 strokes on average over the last seven months. So the offset driver and the chipper, all right? That has drastically improved my game. What I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to go around and show you a video of how the bag has evolved, what it looks like now compared to what it looked like then. All right, so stick around. All right, guys, so here we go. This is it. The new evolution of my golf set. You can see, of course, the bag has changed as well. I've gone to a prosimmon bag, and uh, it has a separate tube here for your putter, which is really nice because the putters have the wider grips and that fits in there perfectly goes down without interfering with my other clubs and getting tangled up with them in the bottom but this bag has a nice pocket here on top for things that's usually where I'll put my keys my bug spray my sunblock it has a little arctic cooler bag here that keeps your drinks cool I can fit two small Gatorades in there or beer if I wanted to. It is insulated, as you can see. I could put some ice in there, I guess, but it does a great job of insulating. Also, there's a ball bag here for bags, tees, extra gloves. Right now, I'm playing the Bridgestone. Um, E6 balls in bright yellow because they're easier for me to see. Got a new towel. I think I might have shown you that. I don't know. It does have a place here for you to keep your glove. I've got this red glove just because, well, I like to match. I'm going to talk about that in a few minutes. Over here, I keep some earmuffs in case it's windy. It does have a nice place here to keep my umbrella okay and then of course there's a big two zipper bags on this side one where I keep extra towels um, I keep my shoe brush things like that then another bag here where I keep my first aid kit some extra keys a uh, rain jacket that folds up I've got the first aid kit in there with some boo-boo medication, that sort of thing. And then over here is another bag where I keep my shoes. And then I keep this iron brush 
in there as well. I keep it zipped in the bag. And then here on the outside, I attach my laser finder. Okay, it just kind of hangs there. Sometimes I'll put that bag inside of the uh, shoe bag. There is another utility pocket right here as well. I keep some cups, some of my pain medication, and a pill crusher in case I am having some pain and I need to take some emergency pain medicine. But this is a cart bag. It has a nice single strap, very comfortable, wide, has a handle here, and this is called a cart bag. It does not have the two legs that extend down. It also comes with a cover that snaps here and here, and here, and here. So in case it rains, I can cover them. And I keep that in this bag with my towels and stuff. Like I say, the only clubs that have not changed are my irons. Six, seven, eight, nine, pitching wedge, and my top flight putter. Those came with the original set. Everything else has changed. Oh, I'm sorry. And then also I kept my five hybrid. And the five hybrid is a good third shot club for me if I'm in the fairway on a long par five and I've got a ways to go, that 5 Hybrid does very well at getting me closer to the green, if not on it. I have upgraded and changed the head covers to leather head covers instead of the neoprene or fabric ones that came with the set. Of course, I told you about my Northwestern. The two wedges that I told you I purchased, I got rid of because a good friend of mine gave me these two clubs. These are Cleveland CBX. He gave me a 60 degree wedge and a 50 degree wedge. Since he gave me these, and they are much nicer clubs than the Pine Meadows that I bought, I graciously accepted them because he wasn't going to say no. And I replaced those Pine Meadow clubs with these Cleveland CBX. Now, I've tried to start using these because my ultimate goal is to eventually get away from that chipper and to be able to use the wood, I mean the uh, wedges that I have. And now that I have my, I still have my 92 cent sand wedge that I'm using. However, my buddy who gave me these Cleveland CBXs, he told me as soon as he replaces his Cleveland CBX sand wedge, He's going to give me that as well. So I'll have all matching wedges. Except for the top flight pitching wedge that came with the set. And did I mention, I don't know if I did, if I didn't, I meant to. I have no intentions of changing those top flight irons. Because they work wonderfully. So those are the evolution of my wedges. Now I just need to get better with them. That's not on the clubs, that's on me. When you're blessed with some much nicer clubs by a good friend, I was humbled to accept that. And uh, speaking of which, there are two other clubs that have evolved in my bag. And again, these were gifted to me by my good friend Chaz. He was blessed to buy a whole new set of clubs. And he wanted to bless me by giving me his older clubs. And again, I was very humbled and uh, graciously accepted them. But the clubs that he gave me, in addition to the new 
wedges. He gave me these Ping G410. Very, very, very nice fairway woods. He gave me this three wood. Um, nice graphite shaft. Regular flex, which is what I like. But he gave me the three wood as well as the five wood. And let me tell you about this five wood, guys. This five wood is my new second shot club. In other words, I'll drive with my offset driver and most of the time end up in the fairway. But I'll still have a long way to go because I can't drive far. But this five wood makes an outstanding difference and a lot of times on a short hole where I don't need to try to kill it off of the tee I'll use this three wood instead of my driver so anyway there you have it the evolution of the top flight XL series golf set do I still recommend that set yes it's your game going to evolve over time? Yes. Might you find it necessary to try an offset driver or a different method of chipping? You'll definitely need some wedges, if not a chipper, because the original set only comes with a pitching wedge. But I still hold true to that set being a good set because my game has evolved I've evolved with it. My equipment has evolved. I feel better about how I play. Now I'm shooting for breaking 90 to where 90 will be my norm, then 85, and so forth. Anyway, I know I'm getting along. I just wanted to show you the evolution of the set. I appreciate you coming along. Till next time, keep calm, carry on. Keep it outdoors.